Hello everybody and welcome to the Fancy Sip Review. Today on the Fancy Sip Review I found my time machine and I'm going back to the 1990s. On today's episode I'm going to be reviewing Fruitopia, a beverage that was very popular in the 1990s. The gimmick of Fruitopia is essentially this is a juice which is sold to kids more or less it's kind of like Snapple if Snapple was targeted towards hippies as you can see why that's not an idea that would exist in 2023 so after going to my time machine also known as taking a car ride to Canada I figured I would buy every flavor of Fruitopia that's still on the market in Canada the flavor that I'm going to be reviewing today is Fruitopia Strawberry Passion Awareness. This is awareness of what? This is awareness to uh, hypocrisy. Is this awareness for understanding the plights of people like minorities or the homeless? No. This is awareness towards two different fruits that are coming together to make a nice juice camera is going really slow today <laughs> usually I have to block my face in order for the camera to pick up on the actual drink but then when I do that I can't see what I'm looking at so what is in Fruitopia's strawberry passion awareness is this the same ingredients that you remember from the 1990s in middle school and grade school in a uh, soda machine I don't actually remember since I was like five years old when those were around. But in this beverage, you are getting 90 calories per 250 milliliters. Don't know how many ounces that is. You are getting 24 carbohydrates, also known as glucides. You're getting 23 grams of sugar and 0.1 gram of protein. Usually in these drinks, it'll say zero grams of protein. But in Canada, if you drink 10 of these, you're going to get one gram. The ingredients are filtered water, fruit juice from concentrate. This has pear, passion fruit, apple, and strawberry. Now, this just says it's strawberry and passion fruit, but it seems like the most used juice is going to be that of a pear juice, which is a cheap juice that most canned uh, fruit uses as pear juice because it's really sweet. Now, you are getting more apple than strawberry, so I don't know why they didn't just call it pear passion fruit apple strawberry awareness they don't want you to be aware of the apple and the pear you're getting sugar glucose fructose natural flavor citric acid ascorbic acid that sounds scary that's vitamin c cochineal extract for color in locust bean gum that sounds scary as well hold this up to the camera for you to see this i am not lying about anything that i said <laughs> so as you can tell they have the ingredients also in French because Canada likes their French language so you can see here shows the uh, name of the drink in French this is a coca-cola product and it is bottled in Toronto Ontario one of the most well-known places in Canada because they have the Toronto Raptors and the Blue Jays this can or this bottle is one liter and it does look pretty cool. I hope this tastes as good as I remember when I was a child and I would drink literally anything and think it tasted good except for healthy stuff. I'm going to give this a pour right now. Let you know what I think about it. That is much harder to do when it's not coming out of a can. So in terms of the color, it has a very peachish looking, uh, slight orange, but more in the color of an actual peach. This doesn't have much red to it. It has a bit of a pinkish orange. See what it smells like.
I'm getting a bit of pear smell to it, but I am getting that of the passion fruit. Now, when I reviewed the passion fruit flavored Mountain Dew, I didn't really like the flavor too much. It had a very weird islandy fruit taste that I'm not used to trying. Usually I just eat the common fruits. You know, I like the citruses. I'm getting all of the fruits that are listed in terms of the smell to this. I'm getting the apple, the strawberry, the pear, and the passion fruit. Move that over a little so the sip cam gets the Fruitopia whole label. Give this my first sip. Let you know what I think about the taste of Fruitopia's awareness. Now on first sip, I am getting a lot of the pear taste as well as the apple taste. The passion fruit, comparatively to that of the Baja Blast flavor, is not as pungently strong. Now, that's honestly a better thing. This is a juice type of a drink that wants to be more in lines of the sweetness that you want when you're drinking a, you know, a juice. Like the pear I said before is a very sweet flavor, so usually they put pear juice in these kind of juices so that, you know, it doesn't taste like a weird crisp apple or a Granny Smith or something. On the first sip, I don't really get that much of the passion fruit. It's mostly the pear and the strawberry. Uh, the apple you can kind of taste, but it blends too much in with the, the uh, pear. Let's finish this. Pour a little bit more. See if you drink a bit of this, if you get more of the tastes of the other fruits. Now, on continuous drinking, the flavors blend so much that you are just getting a sweet and juice taste, which is good, but it is uh, it is listed as a strawberry passion awareness. Now, on my sipping, I'm not aware of much of the passion fruit. See where this is listed. It's saying that the passion fruit is the second most used juice flavor in this product, but it's really masked in terms of how it tastes with the other juices that are in it. Maybe I'll have to call up this number that's on this, this 1 800 number, and ask them where the, uh, the passion fruit flavor is. I mean, again, I'm not aware of the uh, the reason why it's missing from the taste of this. So I'll just pour a little bit more. Hope I don't get it all over the table. Probably will because it shoots out, as you can tell, when I'm pouring this. Give it a final thought. Let you know if this is as good as I remember from the 1990s when I was a child, which, I mean, I'm older now. My palate has changed a lot. I don't really enjoy things as much as I used to, but just try it anyways. Stretch this video up to 10 minutes. Yeah, you, you can't really do the uh, salt bay with a, a bottle like this. It just goes flying all over the place. Again, the same color. Maybe if I mix this up a little more, it could look a little bit more pink or look a little more uh, orangey, but let's put my head in this, get a cool little shot. It has a, it has the passion fruit smell. It's the, the flavor that I'm not able to pick up in the terms of the, the drink itself. Although... With passion fruit, I only know the flavor from the uh, the uh, uh, Baja Blast flavor, and as well as I think Monster Rain had a passion fruit flavor, so I never actually had a real passion fruit.
when you're sipping it slow, you're getting a lot of that pear, uh, that, that strawberry taste, a little bit of the apple, very small amount of the passion fruit. It, it blends too much, which I, I understand why a lot of these, some of these fruits cost more to put it in a drink, which is why, like, if you're going to buy concentrate uh, pomegranate juice, if that's the flavor, they'll sneak something else in it, like cherry, to keep the cost down. And with this, even though it's listed as the second most used juice, which, let me look at this real quick. I don't believe that this actually has any juice in it. Okay, I'm wrong on this this right here. It is saying that it's made with real fruit juice. A 10% juice blend of pear, passion fruit, apple, and strawberry from concentrate. So this does have 10% juice. I mean, you would think that's a very small amount, but comparatively to other junk food juices like V8, it's not really that far off. If you're buying like those canned juices in a freezer section of a grocery store, unless you're getting something like lemonade or like uh, orange juice, it's going to be a low percentage. Like if you're getting the limeade, uh, you're not getting as much juice. So who knows? I mean, the whole thing is listed at 10% juice again. So who knows what it's made up of? Supposedly, the passion fruit should be the second most juiced uh, of this, and the pear should be the top. But who knows? Maybe this is 9% pear juice and then just like a bunch of uh, percentages of the other juices. I'll just drink this as fast as possible, let you know if you drink this quickly, if you're going to be getting the... Uh, the flavor profile blending more. So I probably ingested about, uh, say, a cup worth. So there's 90 calories. In terms of the flavor, I do think it is pretty decent. I do think that this is better than, uh, like, the V8 juice splash line. I think that has more juice in it, but it also has a very weird bitterness, which probably comes from the actual flavoring of the juice. This does have a lot more sweetness with uh, uh, the, the sugar being listed as the third ingredient comparatively to the juice. I mean, the juice is the second ingredient. I think that I would recommend this over the uh, V8 line, but but only because I really find the whole concept of the the new age uh, hippie nonsense to be really funny. Like if I'm drinking this, I can imagine myself at like one of those rainbow family gatherings or, you know, drinking Kool-Aid at a cool uh, suicide cult or something like that. I mean, it's really a cool gimmick, which wouldn't really work as well today. Nowadays, you have Antifa and you have the Proud Boys. I can't imagine there would be like a Portland Antifa juice line. I mean, I say that, but I'm sure Whole Foods would probably do it if uh, if they wouldn't alienate most of their audience, like the Bud Light situation. So, Fruitopia, do I recommend this? 100% I do. Well, I should say 10% I don't because of the the 90% not real juice. But yeah, I mean, what would I give this specific flavor? Now, I did say that I did buy all of the flavors of V8, or uh, Fruitopia, I apologize. I'm talking about their competitor, I guess their competitor Snapple, but I don't know. I'm rambling to stretch this out to 15 minutes. I give the Fruitopia Strawberry Passion Awareness an 8.2 out of 10. Now, usually I give 7 to be my... Uh, passing rate like a school would do i think that this is this is a bit better than just passable i would i would buy this can't buy it because i live in new york so unless i go to canada and also they don't have as many cool flavors named after cool like new weight or new age terminology that they somehow sneak alliteration of fruit into it but as this being the first fruitopia that i reviewed i think i'm excited to try the rest of the line which the only other one I remember buying is a Kiwi one. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're a Canadian, 
please tell me uh, if you buy this as opposed to other fruit juices. If you are a 90s kid who grew up on drinking Fruitopia and you miss things like Sobe, please leave a like. Please leave a like just because you remember Fruitopia and you got the member berries. So cheers. Have a good day.